Hello and welcome to this new video where I'm going to show you how to invite more than 200 people to your Google Calendar event. So as you probably know, uh, when you create a meeting in Google Calendar, you can only invite up to 200 people because after that, you're not able to keep track of all responses. Some people will not be able to, to attend uh, and so on. So how we're going to do, do this is we're going to uh, do it another way, but still using Google solutions. So here I've got this meeting, for example, for today uh, from 11 till 12, that is the sales meeting. And in this meeting, I've got the room, I've got everything that people need to join the meeting. I also have a uh, link to Google Hangouts. So here what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a google form so let's go to another tab go to the google apps more and then here create a form and i'm going to start from scratch so there you can do whatever you want with the with the form uh, if you want to have different colors but i'm going to keep it simple i'm going to call it sales meeting here in the description, you can, for example, say, okay, this meeting will be from 11 to 12 and will be in this room, uh, et cetera. And I'm going to ask the first question that is, uh, can be the first name and last name, but I'm just going to ask, will you be uh, attending the meeting? And then as you can see already, the suggestions are yes, no, and maybe. So it goes very fast because Google recognizes the, these questions and what kind of uh, answers can be uh, there. So you've got this. Now what I'm going to do is uh, with this, I can know if people will be attending, but I'm not sure that they're going to remember to go to it because they don't have the invite in their calendar. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add here title and description. And I'm going to say, uh, please, add this event to your calendar. And now if I go back to my calendar and to the meeting, I'm going to click on it, click here on the options and publish event. And that way here, as you can see, I've got a link for people to directly create this event in their calendar. So I can copy it and paste it here. And there you go. So that way now I know that people uh, can say if they attend or not. Uh, I can uh, see uh, that they, I can make sure that they create this event in their calendar. Um, I'm going to make sure also of other uh, things that are important by going here on the wheel to the parameters. So I'm going to collect the email address just to be sure that I've got all email address and that I know who uh, give which answer. I can limit it to this domain and I can limit it to one answer. So I'm going to limit it still to only forecast people and all the trusted domains. And I'm going to say that they cannot see the link to submit another response, but here I'm going to add again, please don't forget to add this event to your calendar. And again, I'm going to put the link here. That way, when people are leaving this uh, forum, they will still receive a pop-up saying, please don't forget to, to add this event. That way, I'm really sure that they're uh, going to do it. So let's see how people will see this form. If you click on the preview, you can see up, I'm already detected. Okay, you are Konstantinos Raptis Dev. Okay, it's me. Will it be attending? Yes. And if I click on please add this event to your calendar, up as you can see, I have already the sales meeting with the right date. Uh, with everything that is uh, included, so people have everything they want. 
Okay, uh, I've got where it is, uh, the conference room, uh, I've got everything here. So I can just save it then. And there you go. This is add to my meeting. Then they can just submit. And once they submit, again, please don't forget to add it to your calendar. So it's again the same way. Okay. And for so now we just show you how to uh, share this event with unlimited amount of people. But also, what is important is that now you can keep track of the responses. If I go to responses, for example, now there is only one, but I can see, OK, who responded. And if I click here, I can create a new spreadsheet with all the answers. And as you can see, I can see that Constantinos Raptis will be attending. And that's where he gave his answer. So there you go. You can do add any other options like uh, name, first name, department to the Google form to have even more information in your Google Sheet. But that's the way to share this event with more than 200 people and to keep track of all responses. Of course, if you have more questions or need our support, don't hesitate to get in touch. And in the meantime, I wish you a very nice day. Thank you.